Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're here at Bachman's Pool Spas and Saunas on South Stoughton Road, and we're going to talk with the owners later on in the program about saunas. But first, my next guest is Kim from Fired Up Pottery. How are you, Kim? Doing great. And you always bring such uh, magnificent displays here. We'll uh, get some uh, close-ups of those, but I hear that Santa is coming to Fired Up Pottery. Tell us a little bit about oh, that. Oh gosh, that just gives me goosebumps. Okay, December 7th, it's a Thursday. Okay. Sort of an off, you know, off time day. Thursday from 4.30 to 6.30. Mm -hmm. So right before dinner hour, you know, or if you, re four o'clock dinner, I guess it's right after dinner, sure. but yeah, just come. And uh, no charge, so just come, give Santa a hug, sit on his lap, tell him your wish list, and adults are welcome too. I think you're never too old for a Santa hug. Okay. You know, it's not creepy, it's good. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's my time. I've never sat on Santa's lap. What? I was always afraid of him as a kid. Oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the ones who were actually afraid of him were the smart ones, but that's my <laughs> well, Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's my All personal right. opinion. That's a way to sell an event. <laughs> no, he's a really, he's a really yeah. nice guy. And sometimes Mrs. Claus is there too. So, okay, yeah. very good. Do you do this every year? I do, yeah. And um, you know, it's really crazy because um, I want to offer something for free. I know like you can take your own pictures with Santa, just come in, mm -hmm. um, bring your camera. Um, it's a delightful event. Um, we completely changed the whole uh, look of the store. What we do is we have this big long uh, follow the lines on the floor so mm. that's like the waiting line kind of like we lead you through like this maze sure. and then you get to Santa and then after that if you want to make something like an ornament or um, do a sand print, Santa handprint plate you can do things like that so um, but cool. you don't have to you know you can just come and say hello and get a candy cane. The San, Santa handprint plate is that what's behind us? It here? is. That's very cool. It is. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, you know, you guys offer a lot of different options for people who want to make something as gifts mm -hmm. and so forth. Let's talk a little bit about teacher gifts. What are some ideas you might have there? Sure. Um, teacher gifts. So anything in school colors. Um, so even middle schools sometimes have school colors. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of kids will make a very small um, glass necklace just to put two pieces of glass together. And this is a, a gnome, but it's sort of the same idea. So you have um, you know, like say your school colors are orange, white, and black. Sure, yeah. Um, then you can put things together. And mm -hmm. the teachers love this. You know, anything that's a little different, and they can wear it all the time. So it's, sure. it's really cool. Wear it? Well, you could, if this was, if this was like, say, a pendant, this is like okay. a gnome. I know it's kind of weird to wear a gnome, but whatever. Right, right. So, <laughs> but as an example. <laughs> as an, an example. example, yeah. Kids can put these things together, and um, they're really fun. You know, this takes me back to the days of shrinky dinks. You remember oh, that? Shrink, no. Shrinking yes. plastic into Okay, sure, sure. Yeah. Ornaments. And I didn't know that's what they were called. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You'd put them on the tray in the oven. Yeah. These are much better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, actually, when we explain glass, we have a whole cooking analogy to it. So, um, glass fusing is like making a sugar cookie. You start with a piece of glass, that's your cookie. You put on glue, mm -hmm. that's your frosting. You decorate it, those are your sprinkles, and then we bake it in the kiln, which is like baking it in the oven. So once we explain glass fusing to people, even little kids, two, three, four, five years old, can do this. And um, it's a really simple procedure, and you don't go near anything hot, that's our job. Yeah, that's good. That's your job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, that's our job. We get the hot stuff. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about, uh, I mean, gifts for grandparents. Sure. I mean, you, know, you have all kinds of different ideas. We do. And, you know, I always like to say, this is so, also, I'm going to, this is a really off the wall interview, but I always like to make people cry on Christmas. Okay. <laughs> So my most fun... Out of joy, though, Out of right? joy, okay, yeah. Just no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, yeah. So my most fun is, you know, the day after Christmas, the week after Christmas, everybody comes in and says, we're the one gift that made Grandma cry. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I'm going to get goosebumps just saying this. Yeah. And um, so what happens is, you know, the little two, three-year-old, five-year-old might paint something for Grandma, and then all the aunts and uncles are like, where is mine? And yeah. so I tell people now, I just shortcut it. Um, I say, when you come into Fired Up Pottery, you know, bring, like, the list, you know? Yeah. So we got like grandma and grandparents, you know, everybody. Okay. And uh, footprint gifts too. I mean, your child is never as small as they are today. Um, tomorrow they're gonna be bigger. So, you know, it doesn't matter that you can cheat and do some of these handprint gifts in January or January for next year. I would say that's a lot, odd, but okay. Uh, say July, say right. you come in in September, you don't have to make the gift that you're gonna give for December in December, right. but we're happy to see you anytime to do that. So Walk in and make art. Right? Walk in, make art, create yeah. memories. There you go. And, and make people cry. And make <laughs> <laughs> Out of joy. Out of joy, joy. <laughs> it's all good, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's always like these these things we create when grandma ends up downsizing and going to like a small apartment mm. or retirement community. The handprint gifts, the ones with the family names on it, those are the things that last through the years, and that's, that's right. what they're going to take. And we also have you know those old-fashioned Christmas trees. Do you remember like the ones with the lights? Yeah, yeah. And everything. We have bulbs for those. Oh. Um, we have those trees. You can still make one and get one for Christmas. So. Yeah. Cool make stuff. One. Yeah, you can make Very one. Cool stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. Very cool stuff. So much to talk about here. We just have a little bit of time, but uh, I think we're going to give a little bit of a preview of next month. You talked a little bit about metal stamps and uh, and flow painting. Yes, yes. So um, I was going to add these, um, but my staff would have had a mutiny. So okay. it's coming in January. So okay. we're doing metal stamping so you can make necklaces, like okay. with the names, bracelets, um, and things like that. So it's going to be stamping letters into metal. That's really cool. Flow painting is like acrylic painting. If you don't know what it is, YouTube it. Um, it's really cool, and we're going to be doing those things too. Always something fun. Always something fun. Kim from Fired Up Pottery, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Don't go away. We'll be right back here at Bachman's Pools, Spas, and Saunas after this.